Hey everybody, the Bang is here, ready to give you another Castlevania Let's Play. Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow for the Game Boy Advance. This is probably, in my opinion, one of the best Game Boy Advance Castlevania games out there because the story is very much new. Like, I like this story, better than almost better than the Belmont story. The year is 2035, JAPAN! Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation for the first full solar eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz, and I'm a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live near the Hakuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both my classmate and my childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the solar eclipse of Mina, but for some strange reason, the stairway leading up to the shrine felt longer than usual as if something was trying to keep us from our destination. When I finally managed to get through the shrine gate, and my senses began to dim. The pitch black sun is holding chaotic darkness together, trying to rouse a sleepy sleeping soul as if looking for its missing other half. Yeah, I had to read pretty fast because the words were not slowing down at all. Okay, I just saw my nemesis flying to the moon, which is a bat, and look at the castle. Ooh, spooky. Oh. Mm. Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? Whoa, what happened? So, you decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant nap? Huh? Who the heck are you? It's okay, Sonya, Soma. His name is Genya Arakado. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions, and I need answers now. Go. Go ahead. Why have you come here? Why? Well, Mina and I... Hang on, where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we are in Europe? No. We are inside the solar eclipse. Inside the eclipse? You're insane! Do you think I'm a fool? Soma, listen to him! He's telling you the truth! What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation! Well, it's like this. Huh? An enemy! What's well, like this, huh? An enemy. Real nice. Damn! Protect the girl! Yeah! Go back to where you came from! Oh, I just got our first bullet soul. What? What was that thing? So it has awakened. What? What has? The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. But, but, why would I have that power? You have gained the power. Now you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master's chamber. Then you will understand everything. But I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I'll put up a protective barrier. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. But then I... Yes. Only you can save her from a painful death. And you. What will you do? I too have things I must do within these castle walls. Go. Set forth. Both your own life and hers are at stake. Okay. Guess I gotta get my... S okay. It's already set up. Now the three different souls you can get. The bullet souls. The enhanced soul, like support soul, so that should give you more abilities as long as you activate them. And the enhancing souls that actually increase your stats. And can give you special abilities as well, like special upgrades. Okay, explanations aside, let's go to the castle corridor, just the first area, and face our first enemies, zombies. Bullet souls function the exact same way as sub weapons in traditional Castlevania. They require hearts to work, but they automatically replenish. So you don't need to collect so many over and over and over again. And the soul system actually works like the uh, card system in Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Meaning, if you get a soul, it's based on randomness. I know! It's, it's just very aggravating. But you gotta keep killing the same monster over and over again until you get a soul. Sometimes the souls are pretty good, and other times they're pretty useless. So this can get very repetitive in a hurry. Will I try to get all the souls? Probably not. I think it would be near impossible to do. Unless you got the patience of a fucking saint. Bernard, that is. 
But it never hurts to fight the same enemies over and over just for the sake of getting more experience. And some of the uh, Enhancer Souls, like the yellow ones, are very, very cool to get. I'll explain more, and more about those later. Okay, I'll kill enough zombies for now. A bats! Ooh, a new weapon. A short sword. Might as well equip it now. Better than a knife, anyway. And I get more range of that attack. Interesting. Merman. A classic Castlevania foe. Grave Keeper. Backdash by pressing L. Oh yeah, I almost forgot there are certain gray or black souls that you can get are called Magical Ability Souls. Those souls you don't have to equip. They automatically stay with you. And that's real good to get. Now, I know I'm not supposed to go this way, but I'm gonna go this way just for the hell of it. I might be able to get a soul along the way. Ooh, Tiny Devil. New enemy. Alright, I got the Bat Soul. Supersonic Waves, eh? Interesting. Supersonic sexiness for the win. Ooh, Pendant. I'll equip that too. It increases my luck. Remember, getting the souls is luck based. The more luck you have, the better chance you get at getting souls. Very easy explanation, right? I, mean, I can't see it getting easier than that. That's why you must kill every single enemy you can, just for the sole purpose of getting their souls. You just feel like a Shang Tsung in a way. There we go. Sadly, no soul. And the fish don't have souls? What the fuck? Oh, but at least it got experience. So it's all good. Uh, is there anything else here? Maybe an item I can still equip? A piece of armor? I don't think I see one here. I'm getting money. Ooh, tasty meat. Oh, this wasn't such much of a fruitless trip after all. And at least I can go in water. That's why Selma Cruz is so awesome. He's not like many Castlevania heroes. It's very different. Like they just made their own character from scratch, and that's where Selma Cruz came to be. Of course, there's still Dracula, no surprise there. But the story here is very interesting. Like, you'll get into it in a heartbeat. Money! 50 bucks! Yeah! I don't know what tiny devils are doing with money. It's not like they're gonna buy any porn. A Japanese enemy. Oh, Merman. They're plentiful. I think I shall get them souls too. If I can, that is. It just takes too much time. Ah, fuck it, let's go this way. What's up here? Oh, cape. And this cape will allow me to fly. I actually do fence, but I don't really need more defense. I need more luck. Oh, wait, I should not be going this way yet. This is the right way, but I don't want to go there just yet. I want to at least save the game at least once. But you know what? I'm going to stop here. I mean, that's enough progress from now just to get started. So I'll see you later for the next part. Goodbye.